Welcome to another edition of Unboxing Alice, the YouTube channel with our purple fox that unboxes things. I'm, of course, Alistair Frost, and today, as I didn't say in the last video because I didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> we are actually going to unbox some D&D related merch. I completely forgot that Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves came out in, I think, like March 31st or something like that. I can't believe I forgot because I went and saw the movie with my D&D group. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. So to celebrate that, we're going to again open up some D&D merch. I'm going to start this video with dice, like I did, I don't know, like a year ago. <laughs> and then we're going to unbox some specific D&D stuff next time. Hopefully. If I have time. By the way, the movie was awesome. And even if you've never played D&D before, I would highly recommend going and seeing it. Because it was a lot of fun and we all really enjoyed it. So. We will start right off with this giant box because it's in my way. And the, actually, before we start, I want to do kind of a full disclosure thing. There's just a few things to keep in mind. With the last dive video I did, I showed you a picture of the concept, and I showed you a picture of the actual dice, just so you see what we saw and what we got, because it's not always the same. And full disclosure, this is actually a reshoot. I already shot this video like a few hours ago, and it wasn't until I was taking pictures of the dice for my video and also for Instagram that I realized I'd made a bit of a mistake. And I'm always very honest with you guys and just in general. And so I will admit when I screwed up. So I originally titled this video, The Good, The Bad, and The Meh. <laughs> Because I had several, well, I had a couple creators that had really nice dice, one creator that had really bad dice and a bad experience, and one that was just kind of eh. <laughs> and a big part of that involved the dice and their physical appearance. And the fact that there were some sets that did not look a lot like the pictures that were given to us. And it wasn't until I was taking pictures of the dice and I accidentally used my flash where I realized they look a lot closer to those pictures than I thought, and then a lot of people thought, because there are a lot of comments in two of these creators, you know, Kickstars in particular, that were not happy with these dice. So, Lord knows I did not want to reshoot this video. <laughs> I was, I'm tired, and I don't really want to, and I want to play Left 4 Dead. But I, I just couldn't finish editing the video I had. Because saying how much I hated the dice and how they didn't look like they should, and then putting pictures up of the flash, you know, the, the flash pictures that show they actually do look like they should just make me look stupid. And so I can't do that. And I could just leave out those pictures, but then I would be misrepresenting these creators and their companies as well as their products. So I just can't do that. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and reshoot this video and just kind of give you a bit more, I won't say balance because, you know, I told you what I knew at the time in the first vid. I can give you a bit more, a, a better perspective with these dice. So hopefully that'll go well. Uh, again, I do not want to take the time to do this, but I do want to be honest. So that's why we're doing this. Sorry that disclaimer was so long. But I felt it was important for you guys to know. Of course, I could have told you you never would have known all this crap in the background had happened. But yeah, I, I, I just wanted to get that out there. So we're going to start with the sea shanty dice. Because again, they were shipped in this giant box and this box is in my way. So I wanted to get it off of this table. Oh, and I hope you enjoyed my paws because they're gone now. I, I can't. These are dice. Even if you've never played D&D before. I'm sure you know what dice are. They're tiny. They're practically microscopic. So there's no way in hell I can maneuver dice in, in pause. So I'm sorry, but the pause has to go. I kind of just wore them for the intro. So glad you, I hope you enjoyed it because they're gone now. With the Sea Shanty dice, I believe Lindorm is the name of the creator. They've done at least two campaigns because they had another one after this one. The, with the theme, or with the name Sea Shanty Dice, you can probably tell it had a nautical theme to it. I just got three of these dice, so 
I'll go ahead and open those up. In addition to the dice, there are a few other things in here. Uh, Lindorm is the only Kickstarter here with something other than dice. So I need to make this a bit easier to see. As you can see, I have my white piece of paper and my not so white pillowcase <laughs> underneath it. So hopefully you guys can see the dice. And this should not be out here. What is this? Oh, one fell out. I don't know who that is. It's this one. Okay. So we'll start with this one because one already escaped. <laughs> I think it's fish in the sea. I believe it's green. Let me see if I can... Uh, I'm trying to see if the light will hit it in a way so I can actually tell what color this is. I think it is green. I think it's fish in the sea. But we're going to go ahead and pull these out. I think it is. Whoa, maybe it's not. No, this is blue. I'm sorry. This is Wellerman. My bad. So it looks pretty much the way it would in the picture, kind of. It's, it's a little, I think, lighter than I was expecting. And again, when I took pictures of these for the video, for, you know, the ad and editing, taking a flash picture of this made it look a lot closer to the image. So I'm thinking a lot, some of these creators used a flash camera when they took a picture of the dice, and that's why they look so different in normal versus, you know, with the flash. I believe in the last group, I showed you normal picture. Well, I did, you know, the, the concept, and then I did a normal light, and I think I did low light. I'm not going to do low light anymore because it doesn't really do anything. But in this particular case, I will show you the flash because it does make a difference. But we've got some... Blue dice here, fairly maybe. Yeah, I can see the it through the light through it, so it is blue. But it's just you know these are basic dice. They are not sharp. They're the regular dice, they did come out pretty well. So that's oh, one fell. It's on the floor now. I'm not gonna go get that. So I will get it later. It, it's just dice, and it's not the D4 because I put the D4 back. So I'm not gonna be surprised with my foot later on. Go put that over there. After Wellerman, we have bag number two. It's a pretty nice bag. They feel really durable and really sturdy. I have so many things to store dice in, though, so I probably won't use these, but they are nice to have. One of the major things I will be storing dice in, I will show you in the next video. Ah. Okay, so now this one is off to the sea. I apologize if I'm going to keep shifting. You guys know my issues with my head. Off to the Sea kind of has a, I think I'm holding, yeah, I'm holding a D20. A D6 actually would be better. Those tend to show things a little bit better usually. Yeah, so there you go. Here's a D6. Not as big as a D20, but it tends to show, like, color gradients a lot better. So I'll hold that up. But actually, I'll flip it this way. Off to the Sea is supposed to have, like, a, you know, sky transparent view on top. And then the water kind of in the bottom. You're kind of setting sail. That's what they're going for here. There's a little bit of purple in the bottom. I'm not sure what the purple's for. Maybe the darker you go in the sea, it gets darker and purpler. Maybe the, well, it does get darker. I know that. So I don't know if it's purpler. I've never been <laughs> under, under the sea, but you know, I don't know. Still a pretty nice, you know, set of dice. They all did come out, you know, pretty well, especially if you use a flash. And I will show you those pictures probably in this region because there's just more space over here. And when I edit these, it's a matter of what side has more space. <laughs> So what side doesn't cover parts of me? So it's probably going to be on this side. We've got our off to the sea. Hopefully you can see those. If not, you will definitely see the pictures. I'm hoping this video will go fairly quickly. Another one's on the floor. So, yeah, that, that happens. Not gonna get, I will get those when we're done. And the final one is fish in the sea. <laughs> the one I thought was the first one. Which I could not see because I am in a first person. <laughs> I cannot see colors very well. It's really weird how first person will affect like your color and, and things like that. It, it's strange. It's really strange. This one, as you can see, is a very deep green. And this all is a really pretty color. And it came out really well. It's the way it should be. It's These all appeared a bit lighter and paler when you just look at them in normal light. But when you do turn on a flash, it looks like the picture. So there's not much to complain about. I actually didn't think they did this. Again, this is my issue with this group, as well as another creator you will see in a second. The dice didn't look the way they should. They, they look close, but not great. 
one in particular for the next career I really didn't. I was like, what, which one is this? Which, which set is this supposed to be? So I will give them and the new, next creator credit. They did give us what they pictured. We, you know, what they showed us, they did give us. I kind of wish they wouldn't use a flash when doing, you know, making their concept art pictures or not concept art, but concept pictures, because it kind of does throw off what you know, what the dice look like. The dice are never really going to look that, like that unless you're taking a picture of them using a flash. In normal or low light, it, they're not usually going to look like this. So I would just say for creators of like dice projects, don't do that. <laughs> just do normal pictures with your normal dice. Don't use extra fancy lighting and hype them up because we're going to be very, very disappointed when we get them and they don't look like the picture. And I get that a lot of these dice are handmade. So they can vary slightly, but they shouldn't vary that much. <laughs> We're going to put fish in the sea away. And hopefully all of it will get in here, unlike the other two. There we go. All right. And that is it for dice. I do have a couple other things to show you from Lindorm. I think it's just Lindorm, actually. Let's see. We've got two coins. I keep seeing coins in D&D. I don't know what the coins are for. <laughs> I thought they looked cool, so that's why I got... Well, one is a freebie. I think it's this one, actually. And the other one I just bought because I thought it looked cool. I don't know what they're for, but they, they look cool. So, I have them. Let's see. This one is, again, the freebie. Kind of a, I think, bronze or gold. I can't colors in this thing. But it's got a ship on the front. And... It's got like the, you see like an old fashioned pirate ship, or like Pirates of the Caribbean or whatever. The wheel that you turn to steer the ship is on the back. And I believe there is an anchor in the middle of it. So it looks really cool. And they are metal. So they are pretty, they feel pretty durable. And the other coin, I just lost it. There it is. Has a compass with a skull on the front. And on the back, we've got waves and a d20. So I, again, I, this is the one I just like the look of it. I'm not really a fan of skulls, but I like it anyway. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And finally, this is the reason why I haven't moved the box, but I probably could have. Oh, dang, this is, okay. And Chuck. It just got. We have another freebie. Actually, a poster of sea shanties so i'll show you that i don't need, i don't think i need to take a picture of this one i think you can see it it's so big you can't see me anymore <laughs> hello i'm back here this is apparently something that happened during covid a lot of people were getting into sea shanties and i, I saw videos of people singing sea shanties over zoom <laughs> no no judgment here if that's what you want to do that's totally fine there's nothing wrong with that i just never heard of it so she said she sea shanties aren't really my thing, but it's a really cool object to have. It doesn't really fit with my current decor in my house. My house is anime, My Little Pony, and furry themed, so this doesn't really fit anywhere. But when I get my own house, well, a house that I've actually paid for, and that's bigger and has more than two bedrooms, then I would like to have a basement that is very much D and D themed. I kind of want to have like a an area to play and all kinds of stuff down there. Stuff that's going to be really, really expensive <laughs> because it's going to be custom made. But this will definitely fit down there along with a lot of the D&D merch you're going to see throughout my video YouTube channel journey. <laughs> so that is it for the Sea Shanty Dice by Lindorm. I'm going to go ahead and put all of those over there. Nope, there. And I'll get the two dice I sell later on. Next, we're going to have the other creator that I really didn't like, to the point where I almost filed a charge back. This is Paler. The name of the campaign was Roaming Dice, and the creator's name was just Paler. That's all there's there. There are three sets in this one. Oops. Do the thing. Over there. Do that. All right. I don't think there's anything else in there. No, Chuck. Okay. So with this one, again, I almost filed a charge bag. When I got them, they didn't look anything like the picture. Well, one looked similar, but they all looked very washed out. And I did contact this creator, never heard anything back. 
I, I contacted Lindorm as well. So the dice to me looked a little off. Never heard anything back from them. And apparently there are still people that don't have their dice or are missing something from the order for Lindorm. And actually also with Taylor as well. So I'm not going to bash them like I did the first time I, sh I shot this because my biggest issue was that the dice didn't look the way they should. As I said before, they kind of do in the right light. So I won't bash them for that. But communication was not great with either of these. So I will say that. We'll start with Whale Heart, which is kind of a light blue color and also very stuck. There we go. Which one of you is the D20? All right. Actually, I told you the D6 is kind of is the best when it comes to looking at what the dice is supposed to look like. Ouch. That was the D4. I felt that. Okay. This one, yeah, well, the D20 just fell out. So we'll just do that. So it has kind of a very light blue color. It's a bit more medium in the picture, which you will see. But when you do add the flash to this one, then it gives you the right colors. It's very odd. But here are the whale heart or eye. What did I just say? Because <laughs> there's a whale eye in here as well. That's why I'm confused. Whale heart. Whale heart is a light blue one. It is right here. I hope you guys can see that. Overall, it's very, it's relatively pretty. It just, I wish it looked the way it did in the picture all the time and not just when my camera flashes on it. But that's it for the whale heart. I lost the box. There it is. I'm trying to keep my head up a bit so the microphone will get squished. You get distortion when I do that. I realize that's a thing. The microphone is actually underneath here, uh, attached to my shirt which is underneath my hoodie that I'm wearing. I'm trying different ways to record the sound. I know it's hard, especially with a suit. Everything's all muffled. I've, I've noticed that in editing. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to get better. I am not going to take the time to put that back in the box. I'll do that when we're done. Oh, but I can't give it the top of the box. So at least they'll stay together, maybe. Perhaps? Okay. Stay over there. We'll do whale... Crap. Whale eye next. Which is a very, very, very deep blue. We're close to it. And I got two out. Excellent. <laughs> Dang it. I tried. Does it? Okay. I think that's in there the wrong way, but whatever. Get back in there. No. Okay. So here we go. You can see they're deeper than that. Looking at this, it doesn't look... Look at the picture. It doesn't look like this. <laughs> it doesn't look anything like this. It has some blue in it and a lot of, like, see-through, <laughs> that's not a color, but transparent is the word I want. It's kind of blue and transparent. I was very mad when I saw this, and I was like, what, which one is this? Which set is this? This is like any of the sets that you offer, <laughs> let alone the set I actually back. So this is what I've got, and looking at it, it doesn't, it's not going to look like, like the picture. I will show you, again, a picture of it with the flash on. And it looks a lot like the picture. So, again, I guess I can't be mad. A, I got something. Because I, we went through the whole witches and wizards with the other video. Didn't get jack squat. They never sent anything, by the way. I did get a refund. I got a, my, my charge back went through. <laughs> so, I'm happy I got my money back with that because it was a substantial amount of money. But at least I got something here. It is what I, what I asked for. It, I just wish, again, that it showed that color all the time or at least most of the time and not just when my camera's on it but this is the whale heart again not going to take the time to put it back okay i do not want to lose the d4 these are all sharp by the way that's why i do not want to lose that d4 i do not want to find that one with my foot that will suck balls go ahead and give it a touch of it too there we go the secret ocean is the final one it's also upside down there we go Come out, come out, come out, come out. Really? Okay, here we go. Let's just put this underneath now. So, Secret Ocean, I was so excited for. It's, you'll see it up here, very, very deep blues and purples, and I absolutely love that. I'm really into cool colors right now. I, I have no idea why, but I am. Let's see. Oh, here's a D6. So, you can see blue and purple in there. It's just very faded. It just doesn't look like this. It doesn't look anywhere near as deep as it should be. 
But if you look down here, it might look a little bit deeper. I don't know what you guys are seeing. I'm not going to know until I start editing this video. But it does look a bit deeper just sitting there in regular. I don't know if this counts as regular or it's not. I don't know if it's low light or regular light. <laughs> There's not a lot of light coming from this lamp here or over there. And my camera actually has the flash on while I shoot this. That's the best I can do. <laughs> I should probably invest in actual lighting for these videos. But it's it's not as bad when you look at it in this light. In the flash, it looks a lot better. But again, they're they are what I ordered. They I have to give them that. I just again wish they didn't take don't take fancy pictures and whatnot. I a lot of people thought they were renders, like they just rendered these dice that didn't really exist. And that's the picture we saw for the Kickstarter. Looking at you know after this revela revelation with the flash, I'm betting those were actual dice because these do look like those. It's just, ouch, ooh, that's the evil Caltrop dice that will destroy your foot if you step on it. The D4. <laughs> I completely missed that one. I can't see. So, eh, again, communication was non existent <laughs> for this person. So that's still a strike against them. But the dice are actually okay, they feel fairly sharp. I think there's some unevenness, though. Like, it's like they use different fonts for some of the numbers. I know some, several other people complained about that. But there are some where it's just it's like they use different fonts and they're different sizes, so they weren't very well done. The, the color is okay in the right light, but they, they weren't really... The, the quality isn't quite there. So I do still have a bit of a beef with Taylor or the Roaming Dice Kickstarter. Never going to back them again. But it's not as bad as what I let on in the first shoot. So those were actually, Taylor was the bad, and Sea Shanty Dice were the men <laughs> for the first video, the first shooting of it, and the original title. I have no idea what I'm going to call this video now. But we've got, we're going to end on a happier note <laughs> with these other two. And we're going to start with Metallic Dice Games. There's only one in here. And a spare D20. This is a set where I could actually get a, you know, we could get singles, and I appreciate that. The only other thing in here, I think, is their card. I will leave that to the last. So in this case, and it comes in a very lovely, that's upside down, case like this. Very, very nice. The Kickstarter was called Elixir Dice. These dice are Liquid Core, and I had never heard of Liquid Core before seeing this Kickstarter. And it's probably self-explanatory, but just in case, a liquid core die is just a dice with some kind of liquid in it, most likely water. But I, I never made dice before, so I could be wrong in that regard. It could be some other liquid. So it basically is like a dice snow globe. You'll shake it around, and it'll swirl. The version or the set I got was called, I believe, Divine Sanctuary. So light, light blues with some gold flakes in there. I'll go ahead and hold up the D20. Wait, oh no, I'm holding up the D100. No, it's the percentile dice. Where's the D20? It actually doesn't matter because they're all the same color, but... So here's the D20, and I'll go ahead and shake that up. I will put a video on here of me shaking up the dice so you can see it a bit more clearly. I don't know if you can see that from here. I don't think you can. But yeah, it, it's like a snow globe. It's basically a 20-sided snow globe in my hand. I'll go ahead and take all of them out. This one came out fine. It, it looks exactly the way it should, even in normal light, so I don't have any issues with this. I think my only issue with this is price, and that's not really on, what do they call it, Metallic Games. I just, you know, in hindsight, you know, I backed this, and then I was like, oh my god, Liquid Core Dice are amazing, I wonder if they're somewhere else, and I went to Etsy, and I found a bunch of them, so, and they were a lot less expensive than $80, so for me, this is a bit expensive for Liquid Core Dice, but the quality is great, they look great, the swirls, you know, the, the liquid inside looks fine, so that's my only issue is the price, and that's just... That's not really a knock against metallic games. It's, you know, they just set their prices. I should just do my research more. But here is all of the... Here's the set. I don't really need to show you the spare D20. It looks exactly the same, but it does exist. So hopefully you can see that set. And one thing I did with the D4s, I don't know if you can see this, but you'll see there's no pointed ends. They actually got rid of that. It still rolls fine. It still has a good balance. It just doesn't have the... 
you know, deadly, deadly sharp ends that will go right through your foot. So I actually do appreciate that. I kind of wish they made more D4s like this. Not, not metal games in particular, just in general. Please make them so they aren't like Legos when you step on them and you need to go to the hospital and get surgery on your foot. So, yeah, this is Metallic Games. Everything came out fine. I didn't really need to communicate with these guys. They were had some. They were a bit slower on the updates, but things that you know, COVID's been happening. That has stopped a lot of manufacturing, and I totally get that. I've been doing Kickstarter stuff for about two and a half to three years at this point, and I've told you guys before, whatever the date is that they say it'll be done, it almost never happens. It just doesn't. It, you know, a lot of the manufacturers, a lot of the manufacturers in like are in China and places like that, especially if a Kickstarter is towards the end of the year, and production is supposed to start in January. Probably not going to happen because there's a big long Chinese like holiday. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the new year. I'm, I'm not sure, but that tends to stop all of production. And when COVID was repeatedly, you know, escalating in China, they shut everything down. <laughs> so. If you need something done or made in China, it's not going to get done in time. So other than that, you know, there haven't been any issues with this group. I would back them again. Maybe not for another $80 set of dice, but I would definitely back them again. I don't, see any, I don't have any issues with them. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the top of their box because I'm not, yeah, like we're, we're not putting those back in. Anyways, I'm not going to take the time to do that in front of you guys. It'll take forever. Oh, yep, you do need your lid. And I'll just chuck the spare D20 over there, too. This final set, or two sets, is, are my favorites. My favorites in this video. Some of my favorite dice of, like, all time. And y'all know how much I love the Constellation dice by Geo Lasar. These are on a whole other level. This, it says Studio Woe. The company was, I think, I don't know if they're Studio Woe or Smelly Bones or both. I'm not really sure. But they created a set of dice that I have never seen before. I still haven't. I can go back on Etsy, Etsy and see. But to as of this taping, I haven't seen other dice like this. So they're not probably not going to look like much. They look nice. <laughs> they look very nice. And they are regular dice. They're not sharp. This is just plastic filled stuff. But these dice claim to fame is that they smell. And unfortunately... You can't smell them <laughs> through my camera or through your TV or phone or whatever the heck you're watching my video on right now. So with these dice, unfortunately, the big selling point I can't sell to you <laughs> because it smell doesn't work like that. But I can tell you that they do smell amazing. There were five sets, and I decided just not all of them sounded all that great. There was one that was you know smelled like campfire. There was one that smelled like leather, leather, like kind of an armory type of smell. And there was one like an arcane vapors that had like a sweet tobacco smell. And when people saw that, they immediately asked, oh my God, does it smell like cigarettes? And they're like, no, no, this is, that's not what you're buying. You are not buying dice that just smell like, like menthol cigarettes or whatever. Those didn't really interest me. So I went ahead and grabbed Nature's Embrace and Healing Balm. I'll go ahead and open those up one at a time. I believe, yeah, they're, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, with um, Metallic Games, here's their information. This is the card, whoops. Card, I forgot to show you that, and there's nothing else in their picture. Okay, back to this. We're gonna start with Nitro's Embrace, because that's what I'm holding. I forgot to show you how lovely the packaging is. So, you can keep your dice in here, but you can still display them, and people can still see them. That's really, really nice. And it's, Kind of necessary because you need to keep these dice. If you want that smell to last for years, like they say, you need to keep these dice in here. So when I show you my sword stuff in the next video, a lot of the dice I've shown you, I'm probably going to chuck in there when they're not being displayed. But like this set or these two sets in particular, I can't put them in there because I want that smell to last for years. With the Nature's Embrace, they are all green. I'll go ahead and hold up the D20 because it's the biggest. It's got a bit of brown in there, too, which, you know, green, brown, forest. And I can smell it. I can smell it through my fursuit. It smells like a fur tree. That's basically what it is. Let me go ahead and hold that up and pray none of them fall out. <laughs> they have some, like, glitter in them, too, so they're really pretty dyes. Their claim to fame is, isn't their looks, even though they, they do look nice. 
So hopefully you can see those. I can also hold up the where is it? D6. So I can see it like yeah, I can see the green through it. So very nice looking greenish brown dice, but that oh, <laughs> I forget my nose is a lot farther away from my face. So even just holding up this one die, I can smell it. But yeah, it's it's an amazing stance. I absolutely love these dice. I wish I had just bought the entire set, regardless of how I felt about the others. I'm sure they smelled amazing. A lot of the comments under that Kickstarter, just uh, people gushing over the scents. I, I, I'm probably just going to break down and spend the $60 and get the other three, because I really, really want these. I just think they're really cool. It's a, re it's a really cool concept for dice, and the smell is really strong. Like I said, I can smell it through my fursuit. The bear is the nature's embrace. Go ahead and put the pin over there. And oh, that's it. And again, this one is called Healing Balm. And with nature's embrace, it's more of like a. I mean, anyone could buy them, but if your class is like a druid or a ranger or something else that is usually outside, that's perfect for you. For the healer or the healing balm, this is more. Healing class or classes that are you know specific to healing, so clerics and paladins and things like that. Though other classes can heal, like our cleric in our main campaign is a healing cleric. That's what he does really, really well. But me as a druid and my friend as a bard, we can heal too. So this isn't just for like paladins and clerics. But this one has the scent of like clean linen. So. Like, my linen actually smells like, I don't know, Island Paradise or Moonlight Breeze or whatever it is I buy from Jane. But if you just had, like, clean linen, just the linen that you would put outside and let it, like, dry naturally, you know, that's, that's what this scent is. Oh, my God. It is such a nice, it's such a mild scent as well. I mean, it's, it's got a strong scent. You can definitely smell it. Again, I can smell it through my fursuit. But it is very mild. It's not really overpowering at all. And I'll go ahead and dump out the dice themselves so you can see them. All them out, yeah. They're all just white. They're just, you know, perfect color for the name of the die. Just white dice. Again, these dice may not look spectacular. They, I mean, not to say they look ugly or anything. That's not what I'm trying to say. I, I've backed dice that, you know, glow in the dark and da-da-da-da, and you've seen the Constellation dice, so... They, these aren't the fanciest looking dice, but that's not what they're selling you on. They're selling you on the fact that they smell. And they do that very, very well. Like I said, you know, with this shipment of dice, they all turned out fairly well, but these are absolutely my favorite. My biggest issue with Smelly Bones is they have not made another Kickstarter yet. That's my only issue. For the love of all that is holy, make another Kickstarter. Make more dice so I can throw money at you. Preferably smells that are food-based. <laughs> that would be really great. So, and you think D and D world, so maybe like ale or you know berries or whatever stuff to get in the forest. I, I'm blanking on food right now, but there are so many cheese. I don't know why cheese. Oh, that'd be a weird. Oh, I don't know if I'd like that. I don't know. But there are so many different varieties of smells you could do that exist in the D&D universe. I really can't wait till they do another Kickstarter. I really hope they do one soon. Or at all. It doesn't have to be soon, but do one. <laughs> Please do one. But that is it. That's all I've got. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorites were. Um, if you've ever, you know, back dice or... You know, not just bought dice in a store because clearly you know what you're getting, but if you got dice in some situation like this, be it Kickstarter, Indiegogo, or anything like that, did you ever have any issues? Did you ever have a time where you ordered a set and you got something completely different or something that just was kind of off or funky? Have you ever seen dice that have scents before, like smelly dice? Have you ever seen that before beyond that, before now? Because I know I have it, and I don't think I've seen any since. I haven't checked Etsy since then. But I don't think I've seen anything like that before, so I think that's really cool. If you are into liquid core, let me know some of your favorites. I found a few on Etsy that I happen to like, but if you guys have your favorites, please drop those down and I will check those out. If you like what I do, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, you know how this works. 
for the next video, again, I am going to be talking about specifically dice storage and dice display. So it will deal with dice, but we I think there'll be one or two actual dice in the video. The rest are, is something else D&D related, and it is one creator. It will also probably be in my chat chair where I was when I unboxed Alice because what I'm showing you is huge and fairly heavy, and I do not want to put it on this table. So expect that hopefully the last Friday of the month. That's when it should come out. Unfortunately for me, April is a mess. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Again, last weekend, I went over to Peoria with some friends to watch the D&D movie and have dinner at a hibachi grill, which was awesome and extremely expensive, but I got two meals out of it. Next week, the 15th, there's a zero, all of my clubs are meeting on the same day down in St. Louis, so it'll be busy then. And big announcement, I will be attending Anime St. Louis now, I guess. I didn't think I was going before, but a friend of mine has not gone to any conventions since COVID hit, so he really wanted to go to Anime St. Louis this year, so four of us are going to go down there. So please look out for this, or me and my ears and tail. I might end up doing more of that. Our hotel room is actually a 20-minute walk from the convention center, and so in my, my friends all are guys who are tall, with long legs, and walk really fast. So, yeah, especially in peepaws, that might not happen. I might not wear my peepaws, I might not wear my suit, I don't know. I'm going to take it with me anyway just in case, but hopefully I can at least spend a day, for a little pe bit of a day, suiting. You guys know how difficult it is to suit with this thing on. I can't really have it on for extended periods, and since the hotel is far away, it's not like I can just go up and down in the room and just stop suiting when I want to, like I did at GFM. So we'll, we'll have to see, but hopefully you'll see this if you are at Anime St. Luke. If not, you will see my two big honking ears. I believe I had some of those videos when I covered Gateway Fermi, so you should know what those ears and what I look like, so shouldn't be an issue. Hopefully, I will be able to fix my tail by then. I mentioned in the unboxing Alice, you know, Alice herself, 2.5, I guess, that the tail was a little wonky, that belt loop was just very extra, and it doesn't fit, fit really well. I was able to try it at Gateway Fermi. I don't really like it. It just sticks, it hangs too much off my body. So I'm going to try and fix that before probably next week because I'm not going to have a lot of time. I'm going to try and fix it this week if I can get this video out tonight or tomorrow. So but that's my big announcement. I will be at Anime St. Louis. And I am praying because that is usually you know, the weekend before a video is due is when I do them. The weekend before this, that vid, the second vid is supposed to be done, that's Anime St. Louis. So I will not have any time to shoot and edit. So we'll have to see if I can do it when I come back or what's going to, or it might come out late. I don't know. I think there's like a community tab or whatever in YouTube where I can let you guys know if it's going to be late. But that's what I foresee. I apologize. I wasn't sure what I was going to do this month. We will get back to Persona Pins eventually. <laughs> this will happen. It's just, it might be a while because I'm hoping... For the first half of May, I will do a video on Anime St. Louis. So we'll see how that goes until my next video. Or if I see you at Anime St. Louis, please say hi. But if not, you will see me in my next video in a couple of weeks. So until then, have a good night.